How would you rate yourself from one to 10 on a scale when it comes to you know, you being an attractive man. I would say most guys are average looking. So this is where the distribution is quite even, but they're definitely below average when it comes to their attractiveness, when it comes to their sexual market value. This is simply because this distribution is not even at all. There's some men who are way further than you, who put in way more work, who are way more desirable than you probably currently are. The reality is most girls don't want to have sex with you. You're not as attractive as you could be. You're not putting in the work that is necessary to do to be in the top 10% of men. And even worse, because you have very low sexual market value, you lack experience. And because you lack experience, girls don't want to date you as much. And because they don't want to date you as much, your sexual market value goes down and you lack experience and it's this loop that sucks. Yes, but the good news is you can change this. There is very actionable steps that you as a man watching this can do today, tomorrow, this week, starting now to improve your overall rating, to improve your access to women and to improve your ability to date more attractive women throughout your life. This is kind of lucky. We as men can change ourselves faster and more efficiently than women can. We are not as stuck to our genetics as the female counterpart is. So in this video, we're gonna look in three parts at what you can do. We're gonna look at what makes a guy attractive and what are the easy changes you can do. Then we look at what are the big difference you can apply, deploy over a long period of time. And then in part three, we get a little more spiritual. We look at how can you be a true alpha? How can you embody the stoic masculine? And what are the deeper changes you have to do to become that man? Firstly, what are the quick fixes? First thing you can change today, right now, is your fashion. Number one, throw out anything that is bright colors, right? A red t-shirt makes you look like Super Mario. Okay, okay, okay. Uh. Stick to black, white, gray, beige, brown. Good. Most of the masculine archetypes of like adventurer, ninja, pirate, businessman, they are in those tones. So throw out anything else and don't be emotional please i know you have this t-shirt this red t-shirt that your mom bought you or you bought it with your friends or you have some emotional connection with if it's so important to you take a photo of it and then throw it out you're not doing yourself a favor you can create great outfits with that next up throw out anything that's polyester it makes you stink not wear polyester it's unnatural it makes you sweat stick to cotton wool linen silk if you can afford it fix your haircut go to the barber weekly or bi-weekly haircuts you want to look sharp all the time buy black shoes brown boots cool white sneakers throw out any experimental shoes it makes you look silly fix that today and fix your gym outfit stick to black gray there don't look like a hobo in the gym. Implementing these super simple fashion tips will instantly add another point in your attractiveness as a man. The next thing you can start today is approaching women. I would say 20 to 30% of your seduction score, if you name it like that, will come from your ability to approach women. And 50% of your you know, one to 10 rating will be your charisma. How do you communicate with women? Are you good at touch? Are you good at communication? Are you good at putting pressure on girls? Are you good at opening them? Do you have the balls that it takes to just cold approach a woman on the street? This is a longer process, obviously, but you have to start it and you can start it today just by saying hi to a stranger, just by giving a compliment to somebody on the street. And why is approaching such an alpha important thing? It doesn't only get you to you know, get more numbers, get more dates. It shows your confidence. It shows your social freedom. It shows that you don't care so much what people think about you, which are all masculine and alpha traits. Part two, the longer changes. So first we look at your body type. Are you a bit overweight? Do you have a, you know, attractive body form? Do you have V shape? Do you have a certain amount of muscles? Is your body fat percentage reasonable, right? I don't want you to get to eight, nine percent but are you working out? Body shape basically comes down to regular fitness and your nutrition. So cut out the snacking, cut out the seed oils, cut out the bad fats, replace them with good fats, cut out sugar as much as you can, fix your sleep, fix your recovery, and stop consuming loads of amounts of shitty calories for liquids, for soda, for, for candy, for popcorn, all that 
unnecessary stuff. Of course, what gets measured gets managed. If you have never experimented with calorie tracking, you have to start doing it now. Everybody who thinks I'm not consuming too many calories is wrong. You have to start tracking and you have to be honest with it. That also means that little piece of cake your grandmother gave you. That also means that extra spoon of olive oil you put into the dish. That also means that little 11 p.m. M&M's bag that you ate just before bed. All of that adds up and this is why you're not in the shape that you should be to be looking like a high value man. And this is in part two for a reason. Changing your body type will not happen over the next two to four weeks, but you have to start implementing the changes now and you will see results within three to six months. But you have to have the mindset, this is long-term stuff. You're not gonna get to a quick body shape by some crazy diet or working out really hard for a month. This is a lifestyle. It's a marathon, not a sprint. I mentioned cold approach. Well, this is a long-term thing as well. As I said, you start today, but you have to keep approaching. I didn't become good with women by, you know, doing approaching for a week. It's been a two or three year transformation, I would say. In that time, I've approached maybe a thousand, two thousand women. And then after that, I kept going as well and started to build my lifestyle, started to build social circles, started to build luxury events. But the base for my seduction skills, the base of why I'm good with women, why they like to be around me, why I'm good at escalation, why I'm confident, why my touch feels good, why I know exactly what to do in which moment comes from that first three, four, five hundred approaches. That takes time. It's not always easy. You will have, you know, certain girls who really throw you off or or you really feel bad about the rejection or you even go on a date but then she flakes and you're sad about that that's okay keep going get to 500 approaches not just by the same approach but by auditing yourself by being very aware of why did it go the way it did why did she not give you your number why did she flake why did she not text back you will transform your entire social life with this routine and part three the deep personal change the real alpha stoic relaxed masculine stuff number one here is becoming relaxed around women this means you have to design a lifestyle where you are around female energy on a regular basis i was in the same position i became really good at street approach but then i only spent like an hour with a girl on a date or four hours with her sleeping with her at my apartment and then i was alone for the rest of the week working on my laptop the real change happened when i started to have female friends where i started to have female co-workers where i was around women that i didn't you know trying to constantly hit on i became really comfortable around them i was opening up on a new level with them so how does your current lifestyle look like and as i said this is longer taking personal change where are you currently at with your lifestyle how many women are in your lifestyle how much female energy you get on a regular basis and what do you have to implement what seeds can you plant now to have more women in your life in two or three years maybe it's a new hobby maybe it's a new career maybe it's you traveling more maybe it's you creating more events taking more initiative in the social circles you're currently in Maybe you're exploring new different types of social circles. It can also mean finally committing to a long-term relationship, not always just sleeping around if that's the current level you're at. And of course, if you want to go deeper with certain girls or with one girl even, you have to become better in bed. You need to explore your own sexuality. You need to open up about her sexuality more and understand her sexual past, which is another video I made. You just have to become a more complete man in that sense. Now, this is a complicated topic, I understand. If you wanna have coaching on any of these things that I just mentioned, might it be sexuality, street approach, building social circles, becoming good and bad. Maybe you have struggled breaking up with your current girlfriend. You can book a coaching call and you find the link in the description. Next crucial thing for your long-term personal change is you spending time with other powerful men. In my seven levels pyramid, I talk about what steps and stages each man has to go through to make it to the top, basically. You can be a boy, a student, a soldier, which are the first three levels, and you can kind of like get by by yourself. But if you really wanna reach the top and you wanna be a top 1% or one top 5% man, whatever, you need collaborators, you need other men to keep you accountable, to learn discipline from, to exchange ideas with, to just be strong as a tribe, right? Every strong man has a tribe behind him. Every strong 
student had a great mentor. Same kind of tactic with the ladies. What seeds can you plant to be around more powerful men in the future? What social circles do you need to enter? What value do you have to give to other men to accept you in their circles? Maybe you have to move. Maybe you have to reach out to more people. Maybe you have to become more interesting yourself or acquire certain skills that you can offer to mentors in the future. Finally, you have to become ambitious. You have to look yourself in the mirror and ask yourself, are you doing what it takes to win? To win this life, to outcompete other men? We're all in competition here. Not over the same girl, luckily. There's billions of women, but there's only, I don't know, hundreds of thousands of the one we really want, right? The attractive one, the high value woman who has her shit together and who's sexy and who's good and bad and all that stuff. You are in competition with other men. And I want you to ask yourself, are you doing what it takes? I just had a conversation with my business partner here. He said, it's so easy to thinking you're doing what it takes when you're doing relaxed stuff, when you're playing computer games, when you do the little tasks in your job, when you're watching Netflix, right? Your mind gets carried away. You're like, ah, oh, today was a nice day. I did a little thing and then I relaxed a bit, fine. But if you actually take a step back, I'm looking at three whiteboards here with all the stuff that I'm not doing, that I didn't accomplish yet this month. I'm constantly in a state of, oh my God, I need to work harder. I'm not doing enough. There's people who work more, who are more strategic, who use leverage more, who use the internet better, who use their network more, who think you know, clearer, who have a better sleep pattern than me, who have more mental clarity because they're not in a nicotine, caffeine uh, circle all the time. So all of this takes self-awareness. It takes humility to admit, I do work hard, but there's people out there who just work harder and I'm not ambitious enough currently. I'm not doing what it takes to get there. So I want you to be really honest with yourself. No shame, right? We all have tough times in there but I want you to look yourself in the mirror and say, you need to do more. You have to master a skill. You have to level up. You have to make more money. You have to show that you have potential and you have to show everyone that you're doing what you can to reach your potential. We all have our own backstory. We all have our life path and journey and background and parents and traumas. I'm not saying you have to become a billionaire, right? This could literally just mean living up to the potential you have. That's the ambition. That's where the attractiveness lays. That's where you become a true king. And women are incredibly attracted to that. Women want the guy who does what it takes. So you should have ambition in three areas, which is sex, money, and power. And you know, these words might have a negative negation. Oh, he only wants sex or he's power hungry or he just wants to make money. But at the end of the day, the people who win, the people who, you know, get the hot girl, they are confident in their sexuality, they're f good, they're powerful, they have influence, and it doesn't mean a negative way, it means they have a strong network, they have cool co-workers, they're a boss in their company, they have their shit together, and they do make money. Not millions and billions, but enough to be comfortable, to not constantly be stressed, to not be stingy all the time, to be able to go on holidays here and there, or give her a little gift, or just not get triggered if she spends something on something stupid. So the note on money here is, you know, often we see online now, oh, you should make at least 500K a year. If you don't have a Lambo in your 20s, you know, there's a famous clip. If you don't have a Lambo in your 20s, you're a loser. If you're a guy in your 20s and you don't have a Lamborghini, you should actually sit down and have like a serious discussion with yourself as to why you don't have a Lambo. Bruh. That bullshit. You can still make 20K a year as a surf instructor in you know a tropical island and be an eight out of ten guy for many women you can be working in a in a bar in a university bar and just be charming and have a cool style and you will get laid a lot way more than the successful banker in new york because of the ratio of men and women there and just like everybody wants to bang the models in new york so don't get hung up on money especially in your 20s you want to explore you want to focus on other ambitions and explore yourself and build businesses and fail and learn the lessons of course if long term you want to be really confident and you want to long term date really high value women yes money will come into play there as well but please don't stress about only money there all the time your charisma your body your style your network are way more important in combination when it comes to 
you rating yourself from one to 10. If you wanna join a community where every guy in that community focuses on these five elements that I just mentioned, it's called the Social Academy. We have a Discord group where we chat every day about this stuff, about how to improve as a man, about insecurities, about breakups, about how to have the best Instagram profile, how to write cool text on Tinder, and much more. It's 27 a month. If you wanna sign up, click below, and I'll see you in the next video.